I'll be leaving from Lindbergh Field just like Charles Lindbergh left originally with his plane and I'll be departing from St. John's, Newfoundland which is the departure point from the North American continent on the same day, May 20th, that he left except of course 88 years ago which was um, 1927. And the uh, plane showcases the latest, greatest technology of the day, which is what Lindbergh's plane did. Robert DeLorenis, or Zen Pilot, as he's known by his Flying Through Life community of followers, will circumnavigate the globe, stopping in 22 countries in 90 days. The reason why the spirit of San Diego is going around the world is because it represents the hopes, the dreams, and the spirit of San Diego. For his journey, he adopted Lindbergh Schweitzer Elementary and invited the kids for a tour before he takes off to do is talk a little bit about the plane, talk a little bit about the trip, and I'm going to ask one of you to get into my immersion suit. He'll keep in touch with them via email and blogging on his website, Flying Through Life. And it's also to raise money for the Lindbergh Schweitzer Elementary School. It's to raise money for the AOPA scholarship fund called the Spirit of San Diego. And AOPA is Aircraft Owners Pilots Association. It is to show people that with the proper planning, training, equipment, and desire, you can safely fly an aircraft like this around the world. I've done 20 countries in the last three years in this plane alone. So today, the kids, some of whom have never even been on a plane, okay. suited up, use the emergency gear. <laughs> that means send help. And found a new passion in life. I've been in a couple planes before and looking at the windows is pretty cool. How he was talking about all these cool stuff that's inside, it really, it really made me want to go. I think this plane is packed pretty tightly. I'm sure it's still pretty comfortable, like a car or something. It won't just be a comfortable flight, it'll also be a very high-tech journey, in part thanks to many sponsors. The aircraft has about seven different very high-tech, cutting-edge aviation systems. Everything from a four-bladed scimitar prop, it will eventually have electronic ignition from Electro Air. It has airbags, it has Bluetooth, it has an altitude alert sensor. Um, it has a nano ceramic coating on the skin. One of the main things that make this so much fun is that it really reminds students to dream big and to let them know that they can accomplish anything they put their minds to. Robert D. Lorenis, the Zen pilot, takes flight on May 17, 2015. I'm Phoebe Chung Chua, reporting from Landmark Aviation for PCIN TV. I can fly through life. It is my passion.